behind. So Copenhagen, make some noise! The first round of the CS2 major playoffs in Copenhagen. It's Inferno, it's Anubis, it's Mirage, and it's Cloud9 on the T side by choice. Vitality, they've had Zai Wu cold into the elimination stage, the third highest rated player. Right now, this international squad needed more than ever. For Cloud9, it's been a revolving door of entry fraggers. Power from Electronic, from Axel, from Hobbit. Who will step up today? Well, one thing is for certain, and that's that we're going to get good numbers out of Sphinx on this CT side, man. He's been the go-to. He's been the guy to watch. Him and Flames have made up for that gap in firepower from Zai Wu's absence. We know that he's been feeling under the weather. We know he's not fell up to it, but he's feeling back in form here right in time for the playoffs, and it looks like they are going to go walking into Zai Wu. You said he had to start strong, and so let's see if he's got it in him. The hit is coming his way. Zaiwu is on the boost. Pitch a perfect position for the point man of Vitality, but smoked out, locked out. Zaiwu's got to tee up flashes. It's Apex, first point of contact. They move in, and Apex falls immediately. So now Zaiwu's got to hold on, but he's waiting for his team to join him. He's waiting for reinforcements, a disaster. He wanted to be involved. He wanted to have some say-so in how this site take goes down. But instead, it's Vitality, a man down, slow on the retake here. Past the coffins, Cloud9 aren't giving them a thing. Cloud9 aren't fighting. Hobbit. No yeah. kills given over yet, and there's Sphinx on the board. Oh, Sphinx with another. Surely no more from Sphinx. There's so many more players ready to help him. Messi answers back, and it's just perfecto. Wow. That was a clinical ex execute from Cloud9, but cowering in the back of the site, Vitality, a man down, piece it together. What a start from Sphinx. Questions on whether these players can do it on the big stage. Questions for Flames, but Sphinx is undeniable. Massive opening round for Vitality. So difficult to get those retakes off. And Hobbit in the pool in a post part, well, we've seen that at a major before. A major win for Hobbit all the way back in Krakow. But Vitality deny that opening round. Captain or not, they take the pistol. And so this bodes well. I know it's just the pistol underway, but that starts 4v5 for Vitality. They're on the back foot from the get-go. Apex got iced out at the back of the site, even as Zaiwu tries to help him with the util. It's so interesting to see Cloud9 picking T-Side coming into this map, right? It's Vitality's yeah. pick. The desk was shocked at the veto. Missing overpass feels like a surprise. Maybe Cloud9 feel like they're being anti-stratted, but they want to come in confident. They want to come in swinging into this quarterfinal. And the T-Side is a perfect place to do it. Bomb plant allows a buy. Vitality know it's coming. And so this one is a very serious tone for Vitality. As you say, they know they're up against the guns here. Apex is undeterred by it. Trying to play ahead of the curve down towards Banana. Banana control has been a huge question in this major. Some teams electing to give it up entirely, just playing flash retake plays, never really fighting for control. But teams like G2 have been fine to send it down, take this space. Vitality opt for the latter for now. Deep Smoke gives them the semblance of control, but Cloud9 playing patient, waiting to take it. Look at the freedom. Four back to the other side. I hope Flames has a re-smoke back at the B site because he's got full banana and nothing to help him with. Yeah, in the meantime, Cloud9 are working their way out in the top middle here. But they haven't ever given up on that ambition of the late banana control. So even as they run into Sphinx, when you see him floating around over towards the long side, that just might send you away. And they always wanted to end over here at banana. Flames is the man lying in wait. He doesn't have that smoke that you touched on earlier. Apex is moving over with it. And so timing is going to be good for Apex here. That smoke is a big problem for Cloud9. They might not have a choice. They might have to go right through the billowing smoke. Vitality bringing in a rotation 
at the right second. 25 on the clock as it goes down, and third reinforcement as Cloud9 pounds. Yeah, no choice but to go through here. They've been countered by the Util. They won't get past Sphinx in CT either. The Flames, he's been a rock here in Zaiwu's absence. This guy stepped up. Apex looking to deal the killing blow, but he can just wait. They've got him pinned in into the pit. Ooh. And Perfecto, no clutch today. That's a clean round for Vitality. That's everything they wanted to be. Reassuring. Flames gives it, gives it up at just the right time. And they still have three as Cloud9 come to the hit. Right now, looking 1D for Cloud9. A team that was plagued with in-game leading problems from the inception of this roster. But Boomich is back, the capable hands of a major winner, four of which on Cloud9. And we need him to show that individual prowess along with the leadership if Cloud9 were ever going to take down the reigning major champs. I mean, that's kind of the, the tantalizing angle to this Boomich Redemption arc, right? The guy got put on blast out there, his whole life spewed out onto the internet, and then had to rebuild back from that point. Not just his, his brand in the game, but everything. Him as a person had to make a comeback. And he's found a home here in Cloud9. He's called the Blinder so far. I mean, Cloud9 fell down once through, yeah. the, uh, through their run at the Major. Cloud9 have lost only one series on their entire circuit run. That's including the RMR, where they beat Vitality, right? They came through with only an Elder Spirit, that's acceptable. This one will be delectable for Vitality. Easy kills on the pistols in middle. It was always meant to be a 3-0. Electronic delaying the inevitable. And Vitality right now building up that CT money as they should. Confident peach from Zywoo and Spinks, he's 4-0. But Cloud9, what have they got coming? I mean, everyone's been saying Zywoo's back, and this is our real look at it, right? 4-0 to open, and now he gets to don that AWP. And I love how the desk looked at him, because again, it's, it's major playoffs where Zywoo's not looked as, as good as he could be, as good as he's shown us even on stages in smaller events. This is where it really matters. At those majors, where you write your legacy, and even though Vitality have one win in their pocket, that's not enough, not for this team of superstars. So Zaiwu, time to show it. In this first gun round, Cloud9 go back to a slow banana control. Boomich opts to go back through the Molotov, not committing on his own. And Vitality play inside of the site. Got this flash set up to give Flames a kill, perhaps. He's going to go. Again, with so much respect from these Molotovs. No one want to throw themselves willy-nilly alone into a, a 1vx fight. The trade of Util comes up in favor of Cloud9. Oh, they'll be punishing when they get ahead of the double nades. Cloud9 are way closer than Vitality are ready for. Well, once again, hitting that kind of 50 second mark as Cloud9 look to go back, grab the bomb, group up over here around side of B, but this time they want to be ahead of the util. They get that smoke out of Apex, and Electronic oh. tries to play his hand through it. But Apex doesn't miss a beat, and when you repel that first man in, Vitality know they've just bought themselves an extra 15, 20 seconds here with that smoke down. Yeah, it's again looking predictable because Vitality have even read this. They called the bluff. Spinks moving over. Not like you need him. This 1-2 setup at the back of the site is perfection. The smoke land on a Molotov. Cloud9 can't make Vitality uncomfortable. Flames blinded. The flashes will work for now. And Spinks is overrun. They know about this double setup in the back. And Apex is run down. That's more like it. Cloud9 break through a triple defense out of Vitality over towards B. And out of all the ways you could have looked to post your first round on the board, that is a nice way to do it. Even though Vitality knew what was going on, Vitality go a man up off of Apex getting that kill to Electronic. It's not enough to win them the round. So that's a real feel-good moment for Cloud9 as everyone yeah. chips in to winning that one for them. That's what their game plan has been so far, right? Just standard B executor and just trying to entry together. I think Electronics play is understandable. He feels like he has a timing on that push as the smoke blooms, but Apex holds strong still. Spinks a little discombobulated, pushing before his team are ready to fight, hiding out in smokes. And a fiery round for Cloud9 to start this series.
This map was never meant to be theirs, but without their safe pick of overpass, the question is, can they long out a red-hot vitality? I mean, there was a way that you thought this veto was going to go down, and Inferno was always a part of that, right, for, uh, for the vitality squad. It was Cloud9 who kind of sidestepped the veto, changed it up with that Anubis in at the second, and will that be a veto that they come to regret? We'll have some answers for us. This was a, a safe bet map, so Cloud9 have certainly had time and a chance to prep for this. It feels like their goal is just to keep on abusing B. We've certainly seen two faces of this man on our screens right here over towards these B holds. Over in apartments, Axal is he ready for Messi? Oh, he is! Oh. Flick back onto him! Okay. Messi thought he had that dead to rights. And so Cloud9, we saw what they could do 4v5. What do they do now that they've got the advantage? Oh, they, oh, take, now they take it even further. Apex on a silver platter. And I love this gamble for Vitality. It's the best they can do in this situation. They just have to hope Cloud9 misread this, overthink this, make a mistake. Cloud9 have the room to send a probe, a lurk. And just given what they've already shown us in this map, this B site has been so tantalizing. So once that bomb's picked up and Electronic makes his claim on Banana, this may just be that triple save for Vitality. Especially when you don't see a smoke blocking you at B. Cloud9 are keeping count. They know Vitality have two more. But seeing none at this site beckons them in. It feels like Boomich is calling their bluff in this instance, right? Doesn't believe, because it feels like, you know, what, what Apex and the Vitality boys want Cloud9 to anticipate here is that they've gone for this gamble, but over towards me, that's where all the rounds have ended. That's where all the rounds have ended for Cloud9. But they don't bite down on that bullet. Instead, it will just be Cloud9 moving into an empty B site and a three-man save forced from Vitality. Axel and Electronic both getting their entry kills, right? Axel's was pretty phenomenal on that flick on apartments, and he has been the, the biggest question mark in Cloud9 for some time. This guy was you know, top five player in the world back-to-back -back last year, not even on the rankings, not even relevant. And now, even since Cologne, he's been struggling a lot on LAN, struggling a lot in CS2. He's trying to build back in. But in that elimination stage, he put up his second best land performance of his career. So a return to form for Axile at the picture perfect time for Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the one of the most talked about problems with this Cloud9 squad was the lack of AWPer. And I think when you were looking, uh, based on recent performances, Axile was one of the front runners to, to be in that conversation to get caught from the squad. Feels like he has to play to prove himself. He has to play for his life in the, in these games. And he's delivered across the board here at the Major. Yeah, that's despite a very slow start. We mentioned this in the intro as well, but the, the depth of firepower on Cloud9 runs so deep. Different players being able to step up at different points in, in different stages, really. And while Perfecto has remained consistent across both two, every other player has been a little up and down, having a strong start, a slow finish, or vice versa. But if Cloud9 were ever going to upset at Vitality, we need Axar, we need Electronic. The latter of which was a guy who stepped up to defeat this very team on their flawless RMR run to this very major. So put up or shut up for Cloud9 right now, they're answering the call. Yeah, two in a row. Vitality can feel this one really closing up and their control they once had after winning the pistol, that high they were riding, could get away from them here. It was a timeout called at the end of that last round. Time to talk it over. Apex, a 15-year veteran of Counter-Strike. Let's see what he's cooked up in that timeout. Finally, Zywoo making a play, or at least attempting to. He's been awfully passive since getting the AWP. I think that's the first time Cloud9 have even seen it. And he's playing an instant rotation as well, swapping out with Apex, or rather reinforcing. Grenades grabbed for this B defense. Double pit setup, it leaves the wrap open. Cloud9 won't know that, though. They feel like they read their calls have been on the money so far, but are they ready for this one-two punch? Apex the man to set them up. Flames playing the close angle, but right now the attention is on this Zaiwu AWP. He plays it very mobile in this round. That shot fired over at A. Oh. And now he's a part and parcel of his B side. A tour de France for Zaiwu. Maybe the tour de force. Double kill from the AWP. 
And so finally, Vitality just throw down the gauntlet. They stop this B play in its tracks, but Cloud9 try to adjust. Try to get past Sphinx oh, down oh, in the pit, oh. and Axar will find him. Gives way to a 2v2, Zaiwu in rotation. Apex fast through up Banana, all the way in the top mid. Zaiwu making noise over at long. Right now, you just need one kill in the right direction from Apex. And that would be worth its weight in gold. Not looking. No idea. Zaiwu has pulled the distraction off. Axile dead. Apex leads the charge. Threaded. And so now it's Boomich ready for two players up through the short side. Boomich rising above this smoke. Just Zaiwu left to be, oh, but shot no! this. Oh, no! Boomich! Brings it home for Cloud9! What a disaster! Both guns run dry, and the Glock beats the Deagle. On four health, they spammed in through the smoke. They don't stop the captain of Cloud9. Not in this clutch. What a read that they both wrapped around as well. Boomer just gives up long entirely, plays on top of the box, and all set up by stupendous shots from Axile. Cloud9 with that X Factor, and a third round. Promising start to the round from Zaiwu as well. And when he's got the hot hands like that, it's so hard to put a stop to him. It ends up being super ugly. What kind of heat on those hands, Harry? Is it fever? Six one for Zaiwu. The one shot miss that matters most. We've only got pistols on this B side right now. And getting absolutely blown to pieces. Forced to concede. Cloud9, a slow, methodical, painstaking T side so far, running these rounds down to the final 30 seconds every time. And the way that that round ends is a bit of a problem for, for Vitality and the, the back and forth mind games of the game, right? Like they haven't been able to repel these B plays. They finally do it, but then they get exec on into that A site. They come short in the clutch. They're trying to get to reel in this top one out of control, and they can't do it. Boomich and Perfecto. Light up the pistols as they attempt to aggro down Banana. Oh, and Axel oh, oh. taps Zai Wu out of the game. Goodbye. Axel is not missing a beat right now. What a great time for this guy to keep it going. That elimination stage performance at 1.35 rating. And trying to drag them even further through the quarterfinal. Mezzi, this round's already decided and not even a lick of damage from Vitality to celebrate. We said our Cloud9 would have plenty of time to get ready for this map, and it feels like they have. They bought their A game. Mezzi trying to do some damage in at the end. Something, a consolation prize for the round, but not allowed from Boomage. Topping the charts in that round there. If someone was to rebuild everything about himself to, to come back in this Cloud9 squad, he's really put his name back on the map as Boomich. Yeah, we sort of tried to get last major, right, with, uh, with that one-win one squad. He came through six months on the team, not even in-game leading, just secondary calling. He looked really good as an individual. He proved his, his you know, firepower hadn't fallen off, but that's not what you need from him in this team. Despite that, he's doing it. Seven and three on Boomich while calling the shots and staying on Vitality's toes. Now look, looking to lap them entirely. Got a rebuy, got an AWP, it's glass. Armorless on this B bomb site. And the trade of nades has been a consistent factor. I'd say for the most part, Vitality have won that out. It's not necessarily led to them winning rounds, though. Yeah, if anything, that's that's the even wilder part, right? Oftentimes, it used to be the case, if you were winning that banana util fight, you would go on to win the banana control, but that's not been the story of this game so far. This is going to be a very early X that can change the pace for Cloud9. They've been going for these slow, long, drawn-out rounds, and even though Vitality take control, if they don't rotate someone back, this could go wrong. Cloud9 re-emerge in the banana, but they're ready to hit that other side. Oh, block smoke. That's a big move for Sphinx. And Electronic begs them to push in. That's how we posted, but they don't know about Electronic. Oh, oh just no! spotted, but not found. 
Flames at least comes up with a response. Hobbit now sees they block this smoke over at long. The bomb is on the back of Perfecto, waiting at Banana. So the route through CT is the best bet in for Cloud9. Axar puts the hurt on. Boomic caught in rotation. That bomb is now coming back. Hobbit transitions into having to cut down these players in rotation. And Hobbit will do exactly that. Just Mezzi left. And that bomb could go anywhere. That bomb is going B. Mezzi gets dodged and Axile don't want to be in the path of this guy right now. He is a force of nature. Force to be reckoned with. Hitting every headshot, every flick. Every opener right now that Cloud9 need, getting kills on both bomb sites. Vitality feeling the burn on their map pick, their home safe map. The map they took Cloud9 down on last time. Right now, an empty CT side once we've hit rifle rounds. Cloud9 in full control. Back up banana. I mean, these anti ecos have been a wash. Nothing of note. Nice grenades either way. And again, a triple setup, but that resmoke again buys time. I think Vitality have had so many B stacks as well in this map. Cloud9 have defeated every single one. This flame's ahead of it. Yeah, he's looking to activate it, but electronics is not today. They flash him through the smoke. Flames just looking for those few oh. kills that bring him back into the game. But electronic, he spams, he wins, and so he just keeps going back for it. There's a time to call it off. Two low players for Cloud9. Let your high health players entry now and keep this round as clean as can be. Keep that boot to the neck. Spinks. Can he save them yet again? He's been the consistency. He's been the guy for Vitality to keep their dream of getting to this position alive in spite of Zaiwu's absence. And so Spinks trying to get us all believing one kill on the Deagle already. Zaiwu offering up assistance with the flashbang, but Spinks has got to go. And Bumpion chases oh. the kills of Banana. But can't get away with it. Zaiwu smoked off now. This one's coming out of the final few seconds. Spam on the smoke. Close! Bomb plot denied! Zaiwu's trying to steal the round away. Zaiwu's trying to do it solo, but Perfecto just dodges capture. And so it's another one of these clutches for Messi. Another clutch that might just slip through the fingers of Vitality. Cloud9 keeps shutting them down. And since that pistol, since the anti-eco's Vitality haven't found a thing. And it's not even close. Losing unwinnable clutches. Cloud9 keep this colossal T-side building. Two timeouts used already for the Vitality squad. We're not even through that first half. There was a chance, a glimmer of hope on that bomb denial. A perfect reposition. And even Axel turning from that Deagle push of Sphinx makes it very hard to hit the helmet. No clean kills, only damage. This has got to be it. We've got to see Vitality make a move, make a play, get Zywu involved. They tried that mid-boost earlier on. Cloud9 haven't touched the orb. Why not? This is the best map to avoid it on that T side. Even this stat line right here is a huge problem, right? We said how consistent Sphinx has found himself, how he's kind of been the backbone of this Vitality run through the Major so far, while currently Axile, half of his kills are on Sphinx. Half of his kills are shut down oh. by man. Through the smoke, they're sacrificed to flames. That's going to trigger a bit of a response out of Cloud9. Faster rotate away from B. Into who, you ask? Into the woo. This has got to be his moment. This has got to be his time. Right place, right time for it. Zai Wu finds one on the AWP. Cloud9 still look undeterred. They want to follow through with this. Great off angle for Sphinx. Won't be clearing this first. Zai Wu. Coming to them, Ooh. Sphinx is going to crunch at the same time. That smoke up does nothing to deny the inevitable vitality. 5v2, slaughter, Cloud9. Axel can't save them here, surely. This one is too far gone. 
finally shutting Axile down. You can see he's feeling it, man. The snappy aim back to long, but can't expect him to offer up anything in that moment. 11 points of health, 1v3, his team churned up over in mid. And that's a, that's a nice turning point for Vitality. They finally shut down one of these rounds where even though they find the opener, that's not been safe in the past. I think that's one of Boomich's great qualities, actually, is he's so good at having solutions and, and contingency plans in place. So even if they don't win that first fight, there's always more to go off of. We even saw him doing that back in the old Na'Vi. Now he's doing it here in Cloud9. Yeah, remember, it's not just four major winners for Cloud9, it's a core of a major winning squad. All those years ago in Stockholm, we're not far from it now. Cloud9 trying to right their wrongs. Can Vitality build off of a single round in a piece of nowhere? Apex one for one, there's still flames to help. And he has been solid. Are giving up, going back to this B-bomb site, not overextending. So again, the call must be made for Cloud9. I don't know about this stack right now. It's that dice roll to avoid it. Hit the nail on the head every time before. Can they knock that nail into the coffin of Vitality? Oh, huge play. Reagro back in the mid. I mean, this was how they found the success last round, right? That decision to group and fight for the top mid control. And this time, they've hit the golden window. Spinks in with the backstab. And right now, no one's looking. Spinks has got the round on a platter right here. Takes out that first man and then disappears. A ghostly apparition. There's no time to chase this kill. Unless they want to save for the final round of the half. But Cloud9 have almost unlimited money. They need to go. They need to commit into the site, into flames. Flames is still to get past, but Vitality have left him here all alone. They were rotating over, but something, something called it off. And so for now, Flames is TikTok. in this all alone, playing it down to the wire. Hobbit needs to chase Stick. this bomb plant. He's not going for the plant. What? The what? round gets away from them. The time gets away from them. That is a wild way to have given up this round. And then they do that. It doesn't even matter. Not really. It's a calamity for Cloud9 trying to clear everything. They don't have time for that. They just don't believe they've been given the site for free. They don't believe it. They don't buy. It's a perfect call for Vitality. 4v2, they can play the retake. They've already shown they can do it man down. Why not two men up? Use that util, go in as a unit, rather than offer up Cloud9 a kill. That's a really nice call, but Cloud9 definitely cooked the books. Beyond belief on the B site. And Groove has got to calm them down right now. Cloud9's yeah. first time out in this map. That's a sign of a few nerves, isn't it? Yeah. And it was Hobbit, the, not, not the man you would expect those, you know, to get to him. What Picked a up a major, what, seven years ago? Yeah. Most experienced player on this team. Having a world-beating performance at this very major. On a map, he took his trophy. Rare to see, but Cloud9, it's all about how you brush it off and keep going. Yeah, I think that's the main thing for them here, right? They were very much in control on this T side, and they felt unbeatable. They were they were countering everything Vitality were doing, and now that's all kind of been called into question, even the pause. It's letting Vitality know they're building back into this one. And so can Vitality tie it up on the half? They didn't put up a single rifle round since they found success in the pistol until just a couple ago. But now they're streaking them together. Still have like this pace of Cloud9, but it looks like they want to make plays earlier for a change. Trying to change their tune and their timing. They know where Zywu sits. Bearing down on the angle. And even Sphinx moving in, a risky reposition. This is a malleable spot. Cloud9 about to come through. Dodge the flash, Sphinx, new position, double up, and that rotating in from Zywu Zorb, that could have been the killing blow in this round, but the shot just sails past Electronic. And so Cloud9 is still very much in this one. Zywu and Mezzi to get past, but that smoke makes life a little more awkward. 
Messi holds the close angle. Zaiwu watches on from afar on the AWP. But this has got to be some combat orping from Zaiwu. Shots rally through the smoke, but nothing connects yet. Right now, Cloud9 don't feel safe to plant that bomb. And this is wasting precious time. Another miss from that AWP, but third time's the charm. And Flames gets there in time. Vitality embark on a streak to tie up this game heading into the second half. Yeah, they wake up, they roll out of bed just in time to give us something on this CT side. It's not bad, especially considering how it started. But there were those shaky moments and no denying we've had Cloud9 players come to play in this must-win matchup, this opening playoff game for this first CS2 major. We want it competitive, that's what we're getting. And now we swap sides. That eternal question of the Cloud9 AWP on CT half. I wonder if it will come through. If so, who's donning it? It's been a map-dependent play. Boomish more often than not. But we've even seen Perfecto Hobbit take it at times. So he's not looking like a world beater. But he's doing just enough. Certainly room for this to be a pacier start, and I mean, they've given Zywu that P250. They want to bring him into the game. Spinks is holding up his side of the bargain, and he has been across that entire first half. So now you want to get Zywu switched on. Apex lurking over towards Great the top day. of Banana. Util is dodged. They managed to get away from it. Oh, and half it! It's a due to Apex. He is now knocked out of play. That leaves Vitality with only ground to cover. Left at this A side of the map. They've got to get past Axar and Electronic in a crossfire. They deal with the first. Axar oh. tries to retreat but can't. So now there's room for the bomb. Oh. There's Zywu arriving. Clean tap and so past Apex falling early. Everyone else from Vitality answers the call. I mean, Cloud9 knew exactly what was going on, even after that entry kill, it still didn't save them. It's like the first pistol all over again. Not the quickest clicking for Electronic on those duelies, I'll say. It feels like he could have gotten a lot more out of that crossfire with Axar on the balcony. But Cloud9 have got to do this map in with no pistols to their name. And surely they don't force here. That would be frantic. High risk, high reward, but... Not high rollers are Cloud9. See Apex at the conclusion of that round just explode, trying to get everyone hyped up on his team. You know, one of the one of the reasons why he kind of shied away from, from leadership early on. One of the reasons he's been criticized is he, is he is a very emotional player. But it's interesting to watch how he's tried to channel those emotions into something a little more positive here. Trying to have that pass across to everyone on the team. Now, they are walking in to the pistol stack right now, but that bomb is nowhere to be found. Apex has even played wow. with the timings here on a smoke push. They shouldn't know. That's unbelievable. I feel like Cloud9 almost have an inkling, but they're going to find out the hard way. All five in the site. Apex here to send him a message. Oh, yeah. He knows. Apex knows. This one's his. And the rest of the pistols get cut down. Cleanly done from Vitality. They walk into the stack, and Apex lives to tell the tale. Don't know how he walks past two players in CT there inside of that smoke, but he'll take it. Hornets will too. As Vitality continue to buzz forwards. Is the thing, this was almost identical to how that first half started. We can't get ahead of ourselves, right? Vitality found success off the back of the pistol. They stuck their landing on the conversions as well. Things were looking good, but you saw that bite back from Cloud9. Even though Boomich had great calls, you know, nice late XX and was avoiding the stacks, right? Apex, he led his team to a, a major win. He threw off his entry fragging shackles, and it was only when he truly did and learned to not necessarily be that opening man for the team that Vitality took trophies. You know they have their eyes set on another one. Early exec, but Mac 10 Galil, call it a bonus round. 
Vitality can throw themselves around these corners. They can throw some punches. Hobbit takes all of Banana and that's a good timing. Freeze up Electronic. Similar start to that first half, but in come Vitality. Axile's about to have a lot of fights here, and with the form he's been in, that's scary. Boomich trying to draw a distraction. Axile dead. Boomich is going to be more than just the distraction. Two kills from him in the site. But that shouldn't be enough to pull Cloud9 back into this retake. They're, they're so far removed. If they find Messi in mid, maybe, but Hobbit goes no further. And so this round is written off. This round is given to Vitality. Hard earned on the back of that Sphinx double up. Hobbit's still rooting pretty aggressively here. He wants to take something with him. Vitality can save on the CT side. And it seems like they realize that as well. No gap, no casualties, and nine rounds now. This is where Vitality really should take the reins of this game and start running away. Slow to start, strong to finish. And finishing is all that matters. I think it's very much worth noticing that this is the exact, you know, firepower trio that you would want rising to the occasion right now for Vitality. I know Zaiwu hasn't given us any sort of crazy Zaiwu moment yet. But even then, he sits second on the board. Right behind Sphinx, top in the charts. Flames, who went from having a bit of a slower start here, has quickly risen up the board. And it was Flames and Sphinx who kept Vitality competitive throughout the elimination stage, kept them from dodging death. Hobbit secures an opening blow on Azai Wu, and that's quite the kill to have found. That being said, it's not felt like 5v4s have mattered a huge amount in this map. We've got a lot of teams winning from a man down early. Both sides have done it. Still, despite that fact, Cloud9 are down to two smokes and two guns. Got to be very careful. Nice boost on this B site. But they won't commit. The round lives and dies on a play like that. And these pistols sit on the other site. Cloud9 may be dropping smokes, but they are begging for Vitality to commit to B. And they may get their wish. Only two here. Progress getting made on the other side of the map. When will Flame Strike? This is very split up for Vitality. And up against the pistols, that does make you nervous. They, they've got a backup plan here. They can go and rejoin these players over towards A. Is Boomich going to save them once again? In doing so, they've dodged the stack. This old duo of Electronic and Boomich can still stand between them and getting that bomb down inside of A. Boomich pulling off into the pit. Electronic Sorry. moving in to help him. He is in the site now, ready to oh. go. Electronic with the first. Boomich finds another. The pistols are pulling it back. Electronic oh. won't go down without a fight. And Perfecto moves in. Cloud9. Couple of Famuses. Couple of pistols. And they lock Vitality out of the round. Yeah, forget the duelies. That 5-7 hits harder for Electronic. Fantastic work, buying as much time as possible for Perfecto to come swinging in through. And Cloud9 with those three smokes of the beast side stall it just enough to force their hand. Robbed round. But they can't celebrate too soon. This game has just begun. Zaiwu's AWP matches up against Boomage. I mean, as wild a statement as it is, the last time these teams played, Boomage did have more orb kills. He did find a lot of success on that AWP. Yeah, and even in the BO3, there were almost no head to heads. It was 2 to 2. It barely clashed, and I think that's fair. Boomich knows he's not as good as Zaiwu on the AWP. He said it himself, even after 3 0 in the elimination stage. He said he didn't think he could, could be a stable AWPer. Cloud9 have done it regardless. He's had some great games, he's hit some fantastic shots, but he is no match for his counterpart here. So can he thin the herd? Pick off this rifling pack of vitality. A red hot Sphinx. Fiery flames, perhaps. Well, not not in this round. They're going back to B. Being 
uh, Boomich's patience may pay, uh, pay off back in the library. There's no motor smoke. That's going to leave sight lines open for this Boomich AWP. They've seen the barrel, they know he's there, but that just draws the crosshairs away from the true masters of this site. It's Axile and Electronic in the crossfire. And this crossfire has been destroyed by Tality. They've not been able to deal with it. Run. And Saibu can't either. Try to run oh. through the hills. Oh. Axile chases him down. And Cloud9, after winning with pistols, after pulling the, the, the game back, they're right back in this one. Yeah, this would be a disastrous game for Vitality to lose if you consider the context of 3-0 at the start of the first half, 2-0 at the start of the second, Cloud9 winning with just a little bit. As Vitality barely sit comfortably in this map. Their map right now, they are only a round up. And that is another clean, concise round for Cloud9. They got so tunnel visioned on that AWP, it felt like everyone running up three short was all looking at Boomich. And if you're gonna give Axile and Electronic that much room, you are asking for trouble. Half it highlight and then that smoke hit him. But it's not a disaster, he's gonna have this angle over the top of it. Only pistols for Vitality. And even though you saw one of these come up in favor of Cloud9, this is far harder for the Vitality squad. Oh. Up at the top, if they go, that smoke. They might just look to go through it here. And at the perfect time, too, because Boomich is just up and left. So right now, it's only Axar to bear down on top middle. There's Sphinx's deep delivering. Boomich is oh, packed no. up. Narrowly gets Ow. away. Narrowly makes it back into the side, oh. but run down. And Zywoo's now got his hands on that AWP. Where did this come from? This was a done deal, dead in the water. Vitality now in a perfect position to close the round. Can Hobbit's long rotation oh. flick? No. Zywoo hits his flick. Tuned into the Zaiwu show just in time. And Perfecto faced with the impossible. Damage is his duty, nothing more. Just wants to stop this Zaiwu save. And Armorless, they got to run it out. They're coming his way. They're playing right into his hands. They get out with the kill. Vitality. That is it, a defining round in this game. They had no reason to win that. And sure, Zai Wu, fantastic job once he gets that AWP, but that's what you expect out of him. That's what he's here for. Sphinx, I think, is the big hero of the round. To, to, to stop Axile in his tracks as he's two kills midway through, shutting down that play in top mid. Sphinx turns around with the Deagle and does that. And then the Glocks are the thing to bring it home. That one is going to leave a mark if you're Cloud9. Those rounds do not come along often. Vitality, this is the time to capitalize. This is the time to shut Cloud9 down. If they win this one, the money gone for the Cloud9 squad. And so this is Vitality's chance to tee themselves up for the recovery on their map pick of Inferno. Slow and steady. Apex corrals his troops. Saiwu so goes back for the bomb. Vitality has been playing 2 2 for the majority of his T side. So uncertain for Cloud9 where that end execute is coming in. So little info. So much info on both sides of the map. It's a smoke screen, it's a farce for Vitality. Right now, Cloud9 seems to have made the right move. Is this only a reinforcement for utility, or will Electronic hang around? If he does, Cloud9 might have found the right positions at the perfect point. Who's comes up? Couldn't be better. Do Vitality have the smoke for us? It doesn't look like they do. They have to 
find this success or else Phoenix will never get a chance to play the round. Hobbit dead, traded after one. It's Zywoo Zorn with the reply. Damage done, but Zywoo delivers in the smoke. Electronic is hidden. Electronic is trying to make the round winning play. Oh, so little time left. Electronic, this could be his moment, but Apex puts a stop to it. And so Vitality, a, a must win round. On the back of finding success of the pistols, they walk into the three-man stack and Electronic tries to make the play to stop them. But he can't do it. And since that pistol round, Sai Wu now back-to-back multi-kills, yeah. starting to find his form on that AWP. That T side orb has been more impactful than the CT orb. That's not what you say on Inferno every day. But that's a crucial second entry kill into the B-bomb site to break open the stack, and even Electronic's position shrouded in the smoke is not enough. Disastrous round for Cloud9 to lose. It does feel like it's slipping through their fingers, and losing to Ecos has consequences. Cloud9 will learn that now. You live by the Eco round, you die by the Eco round. Cloud9 found one of their own. The Vitality has carried so much more impact, and here are the kills that Zaiwu is able to bring to the table here. Now called for Cloud9, they might not have many more chances to recover this game. Groove getting involved. Must feel helpless at times for Groove, right? Some say he led this old Cloud9 ex Gambit squad to the number one spot, calling in that online era. Now, having to concede that role, it's out of his hands. Firmly in Boomich's, but sweaty palms right now as this map slips through Cloud9's fingers. An old team always swore by him, though. They always swore that he was, in their eyes, an award-winning coach. So let's see if he's given them a solution here. I mean, what can you do with this kind of buy, right? You can set up your rifle, you can hope for the best, but... Vitality decide where this round ends, and they look to end it early, taking apartments very quick. A weak defense on this side of the map. Cloud9 with this boost over the CT smoke. The whole round relies on it. It may not even play a part. Yet again, Apex moves those pieces into place on this board. One by one, the Rooks move in. It's Vitality set up to pounce. Boomish and Electronic, they were the two of the pistols that robbed this last time, but no such luck this time around. It's quick trade work out of Vitality. Clinical. And they can feel that this is too good to be true. This one is a lock-in. They are safely away with map point. That's going to give them four chances, four opportunities to close out this map. It always felt like it was meant to be right this, this series. We hoped it would go three. Anubis is the question mark, even though Cloud9 have won it before, going for the pick into a strong map for their opponent as well. But this was always meant to be Vitality starting strong. It just came with that question mark, that caveat of winning both pistols, but still being in the lot, uh, uh, losing place. Vitality had to come back off of that T-side eco win. And now they've shut this Cloud9 out of the server. Axel, silent CT side after starting so strong. He'll get a moment for Sphinx as well, who's been a bit of a rock for uh, for Vitality. He was getting shut down by Axile early on, but since getting into this second half, guys come into his own. Him, Zaiwu, and Flames, that, that triple threat of firepower.
power on Vitality, a terrifying trio when they are all in form, and they are all in form right now. When it matters, that's what Apex said on the stage right before this game. This is a big match, this is where it counts. You can lose in the qualification, but there's no second chances on the stage. Vitality stepping up to the plate, looking to end this map. Hobbit, a decision to make that Molotov is too much. He won't bear the brunt of it. Cloud9 have three strong, and Apex is already wounded. His teammates have left him here, but that swing is crazy. Gives over the first pick to Boomich's AWP. Second time bringing it out. First time finding a great deal of success. An early 5v4 is good. Apex now hands off the mouse and keyboard. But he can still have his impact. He can still call away to a round win. Do they read the rotate? It seems like they do. You don't want to keep three at B forever. Still so much of the map open. Cloud9 playing towards the extremities, back pit side, library side. They don't have that mid info. They don't know where Vitality are grouped. It's been this crossfire between Pit and Sight that won Cloud9 so many rounds on their CT side, and it might be in that position where it's got to do it again, because with Perfecto falling over at long, a big chasm, a big hole has just opened up on this A-bomb site. Electronic now, got to have eyes in the back of his head as they make their way out around long. Electronic is all that stands between Vitality and this map win. They move in with the bomb. A 3v2 in the post plant, one where Cloud9 their positions are being considered. Sphinx waiting in the apartments. Hobbit timing is everything here. As he swings this, Sphinx picks it up. Sai Wu to close. And the stars are here for Vitality. There is no doubt about it. Sai Wu, recovery arc in the second half of that game. Found a lot of impact on the T side with his AWP. Sphinx is a rock and Flames is in form. Cloud9 will